I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. You heard what the Administrator said. Each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. We'll have time to talk more when this is all over. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plans quiet for now to avoid panic. I was right about you. You are trouble. But you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. So you have time to do what you need, or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? Inspecting the perimeter, talking to the troops and coming up with a battle plan. I fought in a war or two, but I'm no general. In my experience, people like you are better at strategy. You want a hand in making the plan, you got it. We could use people handy with a blaster. Getting people to join the militia for a short stint would be good. We also got a lot of things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab. But our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. I've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last five years. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. But it's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight, maybe die for a cause. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Since you're asking me, I suppose I could. I figure I still owe you for helping me with my thief problem. Zeron has asked me several times before to join the militia. I expect he's going to be very pleased. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my evil.
Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. Welcome to Kunda. What do you want now? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not too fond of my job, but it's better than the job I'd have if the mercs took over. I'll report to Zeron for militia duty. Sorry, this door is blocked off. Charanana Gundoso or Charanana Gundoso or Emina Kelorak to Guru Katada. Fever Tor and Padano, Ringatel Camarada Telefibu Nu Terewana Jun Conata de la Raguna and Tuna. Die Rinto Runca Recare Papanala Ranchinga. Dear Rinto Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsada Ranane, Grail Gra, Delonuta Cholorin. Terewana Jun Conata de la Raguna and Tuna. Dai rinto run kawere kare papanala ranchinga. Dai rinto run to wakawere kwe wap gerebu. Ninso telepachan kawsada ranane grail gra. Terewana jun konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rinto run kawere kare papanala ranchinga. Dai rinto run to wakawere kwe wap gerebu. Ninso telepachan kawsada ranane grail gra. Dalunuta cholorin. So it seems one does not need to be in touch with the Force to act with compassion. 
It may seem like a small act you did, but some things travel, and more good may come from it. I am honored to have seen a Jedi behave as a Jedi. It was not something I still expected to see in this galaxy. As you wish. Let us continue on then. Charanana Gundoso Reminea Kelaraktu Charanana Gundoso Reminea Kelaraktu Kuro Katpada I hear you saved Joran. How many settlers would help us, salvagers? You're all right by me. What? Who is that? Oh, it's you. I heard you turned in the corpses to Zeron. What a waste. You could have been rich, you fool. You aren't serious, are you? I'll assume it's a joke, because you don't look that dumb. No, I won't join any flaming militia. Back again, huh? I don't know what more I can say to you. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. I hadn't even thought of that. I know the militia will take just about anyone. <laughs> I need the credits and would like working with people who will actually watch your back. Well, I want to think it through, but I think I might just go to Kunda and sign up. Thanks for the idea. It was all Tepale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. That area has hardly been explored. We barely got in there. Then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself and nobody was watching for Lagrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way and they left me to die. I think I was the only one that managed to find anything worth something down there. A crystal and a couple things that looked like they go in a lightsaber. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So the sublevel is about the only place it's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down there. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down there. Not that it matters. Nothing gets by you, huh? There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the best hauls ever. Tepale said we could do that too. But they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was gonna be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight. Then there was no one left. And that's the whole problem. Well, since every last one of them is dead, they're fine just sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever, and they won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers. Or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some tried to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. She was playing you for a fool. <laughs> no doubt she'd like to find those bodies. That plus a conveniently worded will and she'd make a pile of credits. 
Probably not, since you know the truth. Unless you're willing to make a fake will, though, the truth won't help. You look like the type of moron that'll just turn it into Xeron. That may be the right thing to do, but it don't make it the smart thing. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. Only two of the four came back. It wasn't much of a fight. Jaren says you saved him down there. I hear you saved Joran. Ah, the Traveler has returned. So... I, uh, have no real desire to put myself in harm's way for Dantooine. They haven't exactly made the Salvagers stay here pleasant. Yeah, something wrong? 